Caution! The following program is intended for adult audiences only and may be unsuitable for viewers who are sensitive to irony, have no sense of humor, or lack a general understanding of the word joy. Joy? I know about joy. I'm Andy Milanakis. I'm the youngest looking 39 year old in the <coughs> world. Was that a horse? <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I'm Stinky Wizzleteeth, the West Pole's most profound life coach, which means I can provide you with not the best solutions, but my solutions to your everyday problems. Let's get started. This question is from Desi Photo Works. Did you ever wish you sung the song about the whale instead? Well, happy, happy, joy, joy changed my life. It brought happiness and joy, joy to people all around. Now, song about a whale, what would that do? People hear about a big sea creature. They might cry. They might think it's deep. They might want to go swimming. And all those people going swimming, inspired by my whale song, they might get eaten by a shark. Where's the whale? He's too busy being in my song to protect them. So, happy, happy, joy, joy. Save lives. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Stinky Wizzleteeth, the West Pole's most profound life coach, which means I can provide you with not the best solutions, but my solutions to your everyday problems. Let's get started. The next question is from Tommy Search. Hey, Stinky, I don't want to work anymore, but I need money to pay bills. What should I do? Listen, if you want money to pay the bills, you got to work. That's how money happens. And if you don't want to work anymore, then just stop paying your bills. The worst they could do is kick you out. You can sit next to good old Whistleteats, we'll sit under the tree, we'll talk about life, and we'll realize that we don't need a home and heat to survive, okay? We could eat honey, we could chop down trees, we could build a fire, we could kill rats with a slingshot. And you know what, rats are pretty tasty. So if you wanna hang out with me in the wild and eat rats, stop working, stop paying your bills, and everything will be just dandy. Hello, boys and girls, I'm Stinky Wizzleteeth, the West Pole's most profound life coach, which means I can provide you with not the best solutions, but my solutions to your everyday problems. Let's get started. This question is from E. Steckis. Who was the granddaddy of all liars? Hmm. Granddaddy of all liars lived in a tree. He was 90 feet tall. I don't know how he could possibly live in a tree because the tree wasn't even 90 feet tall. It was just like, it looked like a little stump compared to him and he stood over it and he had weird blue dreadlocks and he had laser beam eyes and his teeth were all sharp like, like that sharp stuff. What's it called? Glass, broken glass? Okay, now, Granddaddy All Liars lived on this crazy tree and everybody came up to him and they asked him questions. He just lied and lied and lied. Just kidding, I just lied about that whole story, which makes me the granddaddy of all liars. <laughs> I am smart at things. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Stinky Wizzleteeth, the West Pole's most profound life coach, which means I can provide you with not the best solutions, but my solutions to your everyday problems. Let's get started. This question is from Mikey Eddie. Mikey Eddie asks, am I happy enough? Well, uh, I don't know, are you? I mean, I think maybe you're not since you asked me, but maybe you're just lost and you really are happy, or maybe if you weren't happy enough, you wouldn't ask me because you'd be too busy crying to write into this uh, question Q&A, good old whistle teats. So are you happy or not? Um, uh, why don't you just leave me alone because now you're making me unhappy and I'm actually very upset at you because I was happy before you asked me if you were happy enough and now I'm not happy enough, so buzz off. Hello, 
boys and girls, I'm Stinky Wizzleteats, the West Pole's most profound life coach, which means I can provide you with not the best solutions, but my solutions to your everyday problems. Let's get started. This question is from Digi Ranger 1994 When was Bumblebee marriage legalized? Well, crazy that your name's 1994 because it was actually legalized in 1994. Now, the wasps and the hornets didn't want to legalize it, so bumblebees asked their cousin, the honeybee, to help them with a nice gift for the wasps and the hornets. So they got together about two and a half tons of nice clover honey, and they brought it to the hornet house. And once they saw the honey, they said, all right, we're going to accept this bribe. They didn't use quotes because they don't have fingers, but they accepted the bribe, and now bumblebee marriage is legalized. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Stinky Wizzleteats, the West Pole's most profound life coach, which means I can provide you with not the best solutions, but my solutions to your everyday problems. Let's get started. This question is from 407 Juice. What is the meaning of life? Okay. Okay, you want to give me a hard one? That's okay. Life? Life is sausages at 8 a.m. When you wake up from the smell of it, it lifts you up out of your bed like one of them dang cartoons, and it brings you to the plate. And then you eat it. You feel good. So I guess the meaning of life is food. Maybe it's because I'm a fatty McFat fat, but I just I can't see anything else feasible in a land where you have to keep working just to survive and survive to work. It's all about the tasty treats that makes you whole. Mmm, sausage is dang great, isn't it? Well, you know, one of the greatest things about the Ren and Stimpy show were the songs. It's like law. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Muddy Mud Skipper. The Kilted Yaxman Anthem. Nose Goblins. But that's not all. <gasps> Ren and Stimpy's greatest hits also includes the note charting hit single, Happy Happy Joy Joy, sung by yours truly, Big Daddy Whistleteats. Uh, puffy Teats. Uh, Lil Whistle. Uh. <sighs> so anyways, now hurry up and order something you can't have today. Our first callers will receive a dense piece of my skin that I've been anxiously picking this entire time. Boys and girls, don't ever whiz on an electric fence. You could end up like Frank over here. And frankly, that's not a good idea. Always remember to wash your log. <coughs> ah, so clean now. Mm, it's time for bed log. Never trust a rubber nipple salesman, especially if he says, I'll have your ma back in a few hours. Still miss her. There she is. Hello there, I'm Stinky Whistleteats. You know, they say history is destined to repeat itself. Well, when I was a young boy, my father would rub bourbon on my gums to numb the pain. Woo! It was the greatest thing he ever did for me. It was the only thing he ever did for me. Enjoy the splat. Hello, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Stinky Whistleteats, and I'm going to sing you a song about a whale. What? No, uh... This is a song about being happy, that's right. It's the Happy Happy Joy Joy song. Happy Happy Joy Joy, 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 Happy Happy Joy Joy. I don't think you're happy enough. That's right, I'll teach you to be happy. I'll teach your grandmother to suck eggs. Now boys and girls, let's try it again. Hey boys and girls, Stinky Wizzleteats here. A little while back on my classic song, Happy Happy Joy Joy, I made a promise. Now children, run along and go get your grandmas in here. Go on, I'll wait. Is grandma in the room? Good. Okay kids, now leave grandmas alone with old Stinky Wizzleteats. Trust me, grandma's gonna be just fine. Go on, get 
Now, Grandma, it's about damn time you learn how to suck eggs. Step one, get the eggs. I like to get a lot because sometimes this can get really messy. I like to save one for a rainy day. All right? Mmm. All right, step two, puncture that egg with a needle or another small object. Be careful now, Grandmas. I know those hands ain't what they used to be. Step three, suck those innards right out. All right. Let me show you that step again. Step three. Mmm, tasty. And finally, step four, discard those innards. Back off, PETA, these ain't baby chickens just yet. Now, Grandmas, that's how you suck an egg. You can use these to decorate your house. You can keep small baby flies in them. Basically, anything you want. Keep sucking. Keep sucking. Oh, blah, 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 blah. So good. Oh dear. Oh, what? It's my nose goblins. I pick, pick, pick them myself. Some guts. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why must you make me so angry? I can't take any more. With you, both of you. Why I oughta? No! Ah! Oh, cut that out! Shut up, you. You look like someone who could really use some rubber nipples. Nipples, huh? No, sir, I don't think I have any use for rubber nipples. But I'll tell you what, though. Do you have any rubber walrus protectors? Call the police. Hop in.
you little yak waxers. That's all the Ren and Stimpy for tonight. Be sure to sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Unless you hate sleeping alone, then snuggle up to them little buggers. I know I do. Oh, Betty, Betty, Betty bugs. Nick, 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 All the kids say, Nick, 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 Nick,